what is js force js force is a library to play around with salesforce apis it is a library which works in both browser and with node.js environment and in every javascript environment it has access to various salesforce apis provided by it and it also deals with asynchronous operations uh, in a very efficient manner and we don't have to write the similar uh, server side and client like client side log logic like a uh, login with the bearer tokens or credentials again and again we just need to log in once and we will be uh, ready to ha have uh, this library in our app additionally it has also a command line interface also command line interface basically means like we can uh, like suppose i am retrieving a package from a uh, salesforce or uh via js force so it is also a command line tool like which we can uh, use to deploy that package to some another org now setup if you want to use js force library in our node js project we just need to do npm install js force and do this uh, require the uh, library in a uh, node js environment and use it via this commands and this uh, piece of code and if you want to use our library in a, any other javascript environment so we need uh, we have two ways like we can include a public cdn to this library or we can download the library put it on a, any any path or our pc or computer and we can have this uh, source to the in the script tag to this library now we will go for the uh, demo part of this library for the demo part i will be covering three use cases of this library although there could be many uh, first is data migration like data migration means uh, migrating my accounts of one org to another extracting the metadata of packages like suppose i have installed a package in my org and i want to uh, get the metadata of that uh, package so we can achieve those this library and also we can create metadata like custom objects or pick list fields like that so it is uh, by this third by this third use case i supposed to mean like it is a financial force uh, apex library substitute because in javascript environment it is the library which helps us to achieve these metadata operations now let us go back to the uh, start with demo first i will go for data migration like this is the data migration in a piece of code i have written like first it will connect to this org and it will receive a call back here and after all after this it will uh, connect this org and it again it will receive a call back of the information of org and we will do this piece of code only this piece of code is required to migrate the following fields like this fields i am querying upon and i am creating a bulk job onto the second org like whatever may be the number of accounts like uh, it doesn't have a limit like 10000 20000 it will migrate all of them now let us see like you can see in this org i am having 12 accounts and in this org i am having 10 accounts so i will migrate this org's account to this org account by running this script so it will give us information like what is being happening on this message my uh, the org accounts have been migrated now let us see this is the resulting org like uh, in which in which org i am migrating my accounts so let's see so see you can have 22 rows 10 plus 12 22 now second example of shown of uh, like package retrieval like suppose in my org i have a package called let's suppose this org i have a package let's suppose this org have a package called dreamhouse lwc so we need to extract the metadata of this or this package so what we can do like
like this is the piece of code i am connecting my org to this js force environment and i am retrieving the package now let us learn the, uh, run this code So it will retrieve the package information. This message shows like or or connection has been established, and it has retrieved the package. So I can see like this is my package information. It has given me a zip. I can extract and uh, deploy that package to some another org. Like this is the piece of code to deploy package to some another org, but I won't do because it takes time. and also there is a command line interface also for it like we can specify the username password and security token and we can deploy that package third use case is of like creating metadata like in this case i am creating custom objects in my org so what we can do like um, first let me explain the program like first i am establishing a connection to this org and i am creating a metadata object for it json object and i am uh, this piece of code like uh, i am creating a metadata dot create method i am calling and creating uh, type passing a string of custom object and this is the callback i have received like what objects are created what not so in this case i am creating two object like test object 2 and test object 1 support in this or Just or connection has been established and object has been created. Now let us check. Like this was the org. These two objects are created. This was the demo. Now let's go back to presentation. What are the benefits of this library? Uh, like. It has also a command line interface, which gives which gives uh, us to control the commands. Like we want to some some packages are time out of like it is saying uh, taking some time to retrieve its metadata. So we can control it through via command line by increasing its uh, time out, like polling time out. Uh, it is made in a very powerful language called JavaScript, which deals with the asynchronous operations very in an effective manner. And we don't need a third benefit is like we don't need to place the credentials or bearer tokens again. Once we are uh, okay with the connection, we can use that uh, variable to do all its heavy lifting. And with the assistance of this library, we we can admit to different Salesforce APIs. Like uh, we can see like in the documentation. documentation it has access to various salesforce api like analytics api streaming api bulk api much metadata api much more like that and these are the references like this is the documentation link and this is the github repo link for the using the command line interface we just need to use a git uh, js force metadata tools this is another github repo we need to install that and this is the link for that like js force metadata tools and this is the library for uh, which we are using so that was about all it